I'd like to explain the addition and multiplication principles of counting and to illustrate their usage. Well, first, let me describe it. Okay, what's the addition principle? Well, basically it says that when you want to count a set of options, or alternatives, then what you do, you've got to add the totals. All right, we'll have an example in a minute. What about the multiplication principle? Well, there it says that when you're faced with a sequence of choices, you have to choose one thing, and then for each of the those choices, you have to make another choice. Then you want to multiply the outcomes in order to get the total number of possibilities. All right, so let me give kind of an example here. Change color. Um, suppose you go to the store looking for a snack and you can't quite decide if you want to have ice cream. Uh, and you look through the ice cream uh, counter, see, and you find that there's 50 different uh, kinds of flavors that you could have. Now, maybe you'd like some brownies. So you go look at the, the brownie uh, aisle, whatever that is, and you say, well, you see there's only 10 kinds of choices of brownies you have. So what are the total number of outcomes here? Well, the total is going to be 60. And this is what the addition principle says. You've got uh, from option one here, you have 50 choices. For option two, you have 10. You have a total of uh, 60 choices altogether. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, multiplication principle. Well, suppose, again, uh, supposing you want a little snack, but this time you go to your, to get an ice cream cone. Okay, so you go to your favorite little place to get an ice cream cone, and uh, they say, well, we've got 30 flavors. Okay, so you have to choose a flavor. Okay. Now, but then they say, well, uh, you can have either one, two, or three scoops. So you've got three choices there, three possible scoops, or three choices of scoops. Uh, and so what are the total number of choices you have altogether? Well, you're going to have... 30 times 3. In other words, each flavor you could have either 1, 2, or 3 scoops. So you could come up with a total of uh, 90 different uh, uh, possible uh, ice cream cones there with one of those flavors. Well, let's sort of put these kind of together here and save and uh, continue with a uh, sort of a snack uh, flavor here. Uh, now, let's say you go into a your favorite ice cream store, and you notice that now you have a choice. You not only have ice cream, but you can also have yogurt. Okay, so what about the choices for the ice cream? So you see, you're going to get an option here. You'll have ice cream choices and yogurt choices. Uh, so uh, what about the ice cream? Well, again, let's suppose we've got 30 flavors. But now we haven't committed ourselves to an ice cream cone. Uh, so uh, they ask you, do you want a uh, cup or cone? Well, now we've got two choices here, cup or cone. I guess you can choose one of those. So there's two choices there. and But then you get your choice of uh, how many uh, scoops do you want? OK, well, you have one, two, or three. So you have three choices there. So what about the total choices all the way along the line? Well, you've got 30 flavors times a uh, cup or cone times the three scoops. So this is going to give you a total of uh, 180. All right, so there's if you take the ice cream route, you have 180 options. 
Uh, what about the yogurt route? Well, I don't know that many flavors of yogurt. We'll say uh, that you only have eight flavors. That should cover all the basic ones. But, uh, and you assume that it only comes in a cup, so you only have a choice of a cup there. But they say, okay, we'll allow you to choose uh, one, two, or three uh, scoops. So for your scoops, you still have three choices here. So uh, how many choices do you have uh, all together here? Well, you've got eight times three, that's 24. Okay, yeah. So you have 24 possible ways to arrange your yogurt. And what about the total now? Well, the total would be the result of just adding these two. It looks like there'll be 204 uh, different uh, snacks that you could come up with the, uh, the ice cream. Now, we might want to write this in a way to indicate the actual structure a little, little better. We could actually look at this and break it up in the following way. Here's ice cream. Okay, and the ice cream logic was you had 30 flavors times a cup per cone times the number of scoops possible. And then we could add that to the uh, yogurt of choices. And we found there was eight flavors there and each could have one of three scoops. And so we're faced with 180 here plus the 24 choices here for a total of 204. Okay, well, I think this uh, shows you uh, how you can use the uh, principle, these two principles or a combination of these principles.